So, wa? genau. This is the oldest one. turned out to be an, an incredible acquisition for the club. Uh, he is a Canadian, and there haven't been all that many Canadians playing for Celtic Football Club over the years. Uh, the racing room, but it suffices for what we, uh, for what we need. Every player has his own locker, and uh, it's very, very good. And uh, uh, really, the, the, they have surpassed themselves in terms of food, and uh, unfortunately, uh, I think it was a mistake. We should just have left it in. However, uh, we please took with that shower room. Uh, the reason I'm saying uh, I'm going to say it's not quite the same. The reason being is the great tradition here uh, over the generations was I'm going to stand here. have sun yeah. marks, uh, attached to them. We don't get a lot of sun in Glasgow. In the East End of Glasgow uh, during the month of November, December. So we've got to switch on our own sun and uh, uh, we do that during the winter. <laughs> the, the Celtic ladies that, uh, uh, that are downstairs, the, the, the girls, they train just along the road uh, at a place called Barrowfield and uh, they, they train there and for lunch they come back uh, to Celtic Park and they use the away dressing room. Hence the reason we, uh, we've got to respect the privacy and not, <laughs> not go into the dressing room. Uh, but the away dressing room looks just like the, like the home dressing room. There's hardly any difference. But the Celtic ladies use the director's box is situated on this side of the partition. The Celtic directors sit on this side of the box. Visiting directors, away team directors, they sit on, on this side. Then behind me we have, if you're having a meal in the Walford restaurant, you sit here. Uh, if you are a member of the George Steen Executive Club, you sit in this area here. The boxes, of course, are for corporate hospitality. The large... <laughs> Two. Yeah. Two. Yeah. 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 Yeah.